Hey guys, I'm Kafri. This channel is about hula hooping and this is a tutorial for isolation. So the magical desired by every beginner hooper trick. <laughs> if you want to learn it, stay with me through this video. And if hula hooping is something interesting for you, subscribe to the channel because I'm sharing a lot, a lot of knowledge, tutorials and inspirational videos on this channel. So whenever you're ready, grab your hoop and let's go. Of course I understand that when you're a beginner hula hooper or you already have some tricks but you don't still know how to do isolation, it's something like you want to grab the hoop and just do it. But I like to explain it in a different way, not going straight into the trick explanation, but more about the spatial awareness and understanding the movement in here, okay? So I will go my way. So grab your hoop and let's try to focus on the hoop only, okay? Like your body is an additive to this move and you want really to pay all your attention on staying with your hoop in one position. So grab the hoop on the sides and just try to move it from one side to the other without changing its position, okay? Without moving it anywhere in space. So you want to go from left to right and from right to left, okay? Try to relax your wrists let your elbows flow with this movement, let your shoulders not be stiff, not to be stick to the body, okay? So all arms are working on this move for your hoop, okay? And this is the main point of concentration, okay? So what are we doing here? We are transferring the central spot of the movement, which in the normal hand spin is our hand, into the center of our hoop, and we want it to stay here, and just not move anywhere. Okay, so this is kind of limited. I cannot go anywhere because I will have to fold my hoop and anyway, my, my hands will cross. So what I can do when one hand is up and the other is down, I can simply switch them beginning with the lower one. So I go with the lower hand up, upper hand down and repeat. Okay, so I'm continuing the movement by switching the hands. It's kind of boring, so I'm gonna go the other direction, okay? Then the next step will be to switch the hands, not only in these two points, but maybe trying to catch it from the inside, from the outside in different spots, okay? Just adapting, adjusting our body to this combination in which the circle is more important and I want to focus on its position, okay? I want to try different combinations here just to achieve this stable position of my hoop, okay? This brings you a little closer, but my friend, I will be honest, isolation is a matter of practice, like any other tricks, but isolation is like especially the one that you have to spend a lot of time with and I would recommend you not to put too much tension on it, like I will spend now one hour a day practicing my isolation until I will achieve it. Just try to be more relaxed about this. Every drill, when you overweight you know, it with tension, becomes a burden and it's nothing left of the fun <laughs> of learning it. So try to like include it in your trainings. Try to go back to it maybe for a little moment. Try different techniques like I showed you like um, changing the spot of the grip outside, inside. Maybe it will come out by itself or as any other combination like the two-handed isolation, which I'm going to show you in the next tutorial. Now, let's take a look at the final trick. Now, this one I like to explain with my back to you, sorry, but the grip, the initial grip, my hand is facing the sky or the ceiling, I'm grabbing the hoop really tight in here, okay? The thumb is supporting the hoop in here. And what will be my intention will be to draw a circle with my arm in the air, okay? Up, up. This is the move I'm gonna perform in my isolation, okay? So it's not about, you know, circling the hoop around my head, hand. Now it's about drawing a real big circle in the air, okay? So let's go step by step. 
I'm supporting the hoop with the thumb and the grip here is quite tight. I'm holding the hoop super strong. And I want to draw this circle without moving my hoop anywhere. And when I come to this position where I cannot go any further, I have to let the hoop loose and really quickly switch the position of my hand. Okay? This is something you can practice like separately. This is something you can practice just, you know, as the part of the trick. Okay? So the grip change, the grip switch. Let me show it to you closer. So I'm here in this position and I switch to this position. Hop, hop, hop. Okay, what might be really helpful in the beginning will be the second hand supporting your hoop, helping you not to lose the position. However, our brain doesn't connect it so fast when it's like your first attempt and the second hand is constantly trying to grab the hoop. So to avoid it, you can simply, you know, twist the hand and support the hoop on its upper edge, on its external edge. Okay, so here I go, I support the hoop with my second hand and I try to catch this move, to catch this momentum that is going on here, catch the moment of transition, okay? Warning, your hand <laughs> is gonna hurt because it's like a lot in the beginning. So try maybe switching the hands, which might be also interesting to perform the isolation with the second hand, okay? You can also try going in the other direction, which is for some more tricky and some people feel it more intuitively, so maybe it will be your thing. Okay, so I'm not beginning as in the initial position up here, but I'm beginning down here. And when I reach the highest point of my hoop, I want to do the switch in the opposite direction and continue with the movement. Okay? So, now you have all the theory. You can support yourself with the second hand. One important hint is that maybe if you look on something in the space through your hoop, but minding the shape of your hoop, it's often helpful. Yeah, the mirror, of course, will be the best, but we are not always <laughs> like by the, uh, in front of the mirror, maybe in front of the window, or maybe looking at the shadow, or, you know, use your imagination, but also pointing something in the space and just checking the position of the hoop um, com in comparison with this point is also very helpful. Also the bright colors, the light colors of your hoop will make it more visible, but yeah, you know. Also training by the wall is sometimes helpful, that you are close to the wall and even if the hoop loses its position, it will simply lose the wall, okay? Some people are practicing the isolation sitting or kneeling down on the ground so that the hoop is close to the ground and they are just simply catching the move in here, okay? With the support of the ground just to make the transition and then the rest and then slightly lifting the hoop up from the ground, okay? And then going higher and higher. A chair, a table, you know, <laughs> be creative about this, okay? I wish you a lot of patience, a lot of joy in this practice because it's a beautiful final, you know, to achieve this move and to be able to move it in combination with other, you know, moves related to the isolation. Yeah, it will for sure enrich your flow sessions and your dance routines. So. My fingers crossed for you. I hope you like this explanation. If you need additional hints, please leave in the comments your question. Maybe it will be helpful to somebody else. And of course, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel to receive all the 30 tutorials completely for free in here on my channel. If you enjoy it, leave me some like button or comment or, you know, sign of your presence, okay? I see you in the next one.